Good afternoon from almost inside of Epcot. The current time is 11.36, and it looks like a lot of people decided to come to Epcot today. 11.52, I'm almost there. We can see the Epcot sign not too far away. Right at noon, I've made it inside of the Epcot parking lot. So, good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. It's been some time since I've been here to Epcot, so I found a reservation and here I am. We're just gonna have a fun afternoon here at Epcot. I want to make my way around the World Showcase and explore more food offerings from Flower and Garden, but this time I wanna find one or two items on the healthier side because today is not a cheat day for me. Of course, check on some park updates, plus Disney is still changing their mask policy, so I'm gonna talk just a little bit about those new policies, but it's gonna be a fun day. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Today is a Monday afternoon and check out the lines to enter the park. Also, I can't show you guys much, but here at the front of the park, they have a brand new music loop playing. Nice. There's a little bit of a gathering over here heading towards Mickey and Minnie. Hello, Mickey. He's excited. And then we have Minnie over here. I've been hearing Disney isn't really doing as many cavalcades anymore because they want more characters out and about, as we see here. I just took a maskless picture with Mickey, of course, from a safe distance. But how cool. I noticed by this trash can with its signage, look at this. Disney has covered the six feet marker. Now it just says maintain physical distancing. But at this one closer to the restrooms, it still says six feet. There's Spaceship Earth, and it's been so long since I've been here to Epcot. This building is all gone. It's been demolished. And this is where the Moana attraction or walkthrough will be. Look at this view. These guys have an awesome job getting to water the flowers every day. How beautiful. It is also a gorgeous day outside today. I got as close as I could to check out the barges here for Harmonious as all of the barges are now out on the lagoon. As we see here, I just don't know about this centerpiece. I don't know. It's an eyesore, but it has been testing with the water features. Hopefully we get to see it today. What are your thoughts on the barges? I would love to know. Also, I believe these tents are for testing with all of the systems to make everything work on the barges. There's two out here. Really quickly, if you have not heard the news or if you have not watched my last video, you do not have to wear a mask while being outside here at Walt Disney World and all of the Central Florida theme parks for that matter. But the common question I received in that video is, Dev, how did you feel? Did you feel safe? And yes, I did. I felt safe at Magic Kingdom. I really feel safe here because Epcot is so much larger and there's so much more space. And I know we all have our different opinions on this as we should because this news is big. But just remember, it is my duty to come to these theme parks to walk you guys through everything to explain the new news and also just try to explain everything to the best of my knowledge to you guys. Okay, that's all I'm gonna talk about regarding the mask and the guidelines. Let's go have a fun day. It is now lunchtime and I smell something pretty good. I'm going to try this grilled street corn on the cob. Look how fresh these corn on the cobs are. I think the princess cavalcade is coming as I can hear the music, but let's try this corn on the cob. It looks and smells really good. The street corn is really good. It's very filling, and if you love garlic, you're really gonna like this because they put a garlic spread on top of it. I highly recommend. The one thing I think we all hate about eating corn is how it gets stuck in your teeth. I don't like that. Watch out for the Disney ducks crossing the road. Looks like they want some margaritas. They are out there working on the harmonious centerpiece as we speak right now. I hope we get to catch it testing at some point. I have some good news. I just spoke with five different cast members, three of them right over here in the line for Frozen. But I did confirm you are allowed to walk around the World Showcase once again and drink and eat and not wear a mask. You do not have to be stationary anymore. A lot of people are doing it, but I just wanted to confirm with Disney cast members. And uh, yeah, awesome news. Is something happening? 
Maybe. I don't want to get my hopes up. Epcot has just recently opened this new gelato stand. This looks really nice. Let's see what the menu looks like. Or is it gelate? I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, so my bad. But they have floats, smoothies, beer and wine, beverages, coffee, this stuff. <laughs> It sounds really good. Oh man, I cannot wait to have shave ice at Alani. We're just a few weeks away from that trip. I'm now here in the Japan Pavilion, and since we are now allowed to drink around the world once again, I'm gonna celebrate with one drink, one of my favorite drinks. And here we are. This is called the Violet Sake, a refreshing balance of sake, purple pear, and lime juice. And this was $9. All right, I paid for my drink. I took my mask off because again, when you're inside, you have to wear your mask. Let's see if this works. So far, it's working. Frushi, frushi, frushi. I smell frushi. I'm now passing by Morocco and I noticed Disney has placed these bushes here. And usually when you guys see these, it means it's not operating, it's closed. Also, it looks like a storm is heading this way with the wind, but there's a little opening here and I've seen people walk in and out. Oh, looks like they're just doing some concrete work. So maybe it's not closed. Let's see. Well, it still looks open. It's pretty dead back here. Yeah, okay, it's open. It's nice to see the friendship boats running again. The Skyliner is going. I'm now here in France. Let's go check out the Ratatouille area. The attraction in the creperie is still blocked off and this is set to open this year on October 1st. All that's back here is restrooms and some seating areas. That's about all as of right now. I know it's windy, but they just started shooting some water. Next up, I'm gonna grab some more food here in the World Show Place. Oh yes, the AC feels nice. I'm here at the Farmer's Feast to try this brand new item called the Warm Asparagus Salad for $5.25. It's a little slower today, but the chef is making some fresh asparagus for this entree. Look at that. This dish looks so good. Let's give it a try. That is a really good dish. Very healthy, it's full of flavor. I like how it has fresh Parmesan cheese on top. The asparagus is cooked to perfection. Very good. Also, here at the Farmer's Feast, they are on a rotating menu. It's a great, beautiful tomorrow, and it's just my dream away. You know, one thing that I'm starting to really appreciate is they have food options for everybody. No matter if you want to eat healthy, if you're a vegetarian, if you're vegan, or if you want the good stuff, they have you covered. Passing by Flavorful Kitchen, I've been wanting to try this strawberry mousse with chocolate crisp pearls, but I'm going to save that for next time. There's Joy out there in the grass waving at people. Just living her best life. Oh, a bird. Oh shoot, she missed it. What is she doing? She is loving this weather. Oh, she's waving at the people inside of the butterfly garden. Hello, Joy. Have a great day. Thank you. Speaking of being healthy, I'm passing by this kiosk and look what they have, a fruit and cheese plate for $6.50 in a vegetable plate for $4.25. Also, hummus with pretzels. Not bad. Let's head inside the land and try to have a ride on living with the land. Oh, nice. Living with the land is only a 10 minute wait, which looks like it's a walk on. I can't wait for the day Disney gets rid of the plexiglass. It's real tight in here. <laughs> Yeah. 
is at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature in greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. We're working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Living with the land is such a relaxing ride. It looks like they're still distancing tables, but they have added more tables to seat more people. If I zoom in, we can kind of see some of that updated construction. And right there is the creation shop, the new mouse gear. I can hear the purple martins up here nesting. With the new news, looks like the playground is still roped off here at Epcot. I'm now on the other side of the creation shop and we can see they have installed brand new windows and it looks like right here will still be a entrance just like Mouse Gear once was. There's people on the roof. It's looking good. I think this is opening sometime later this summer and Disney is still offering relaxation stations. Now passing by Mission Space, there's still no update regarding Space 220. This was supposed to open years ago. Still nothing. However, as we look at the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction, there's a few construction workers on the roof working. As I started heading out, we have Goofy and Pluto up at the front where Mickey and Minnie was at the start of the video. It's so good to see characters back out once again. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from MickeyTravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description and click on the link for your next Disney vacation. All right, my friends, that is all that I have for you guys in this video. I really enjoyed my day. We got to enjoy some more flower and garden festival. We got to try some healthier food options. I got to walk around and show you guys some park updates here at Epcot because a lot is happening. Hopefully by this time next year, we'll have our brand new Epcot because so much is happening. And just being here, I got to drink around the world once again. That's a game changer. It's back, life is slowly returning to somewhat of normal. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.
Prince Charming. Out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. 